Hey everybody, how are you doing today? This is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to be looking at Voyager Debian 11. It's a new release based on Debian 11 Bullseye. And everybody knows Debian is solid, stable. You're going to get older software, but it's going to be a lot more dependable. So, when you boot into Voyager, this is the screen you're met with. Just basically gives you videos to show you how to launch applications, switch tasks, use Windows and Workspaces, common tasks like browse the web, use the system search, launch applications, change the date, time, and time zone, use Windows and Workspaces, switch tasks, connect to online accounts, and then get online. And then of course you have Genome Help, or Gnome Help, I'm sorry, however you want to pronounce it. So let's close out of that, and before we go any further, I just want to remind everybody, please like and subscribe my video. I mean, you have nothing to lose, it doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Plus, it enters you into the contest for the ASUS ZenBook 14 giveaway that we're doing on August 31st, 2021. So it looks like there's some software updates available. Let's close that. And as you can see, you can go up here. You've got workspaces. You can open your applications from here. There's your applications menu. We'll close that. On the top bar, you've got notifications. You've got your radio. You've got your terminal. You've got clipboard. You've got date and time. You've got your network, volume, battery level. And then you can drop down and you have your power off and settings right there. And you can open tweaks from there. Let's go ahead and open up the tweaks. This is GNOME tweaks. And basically gives you a lot of tweaks that you can do to the GNOME desktop. You can turn animations on and off, suspend when laptop lid is closed, over amplification, raising the volume above 100. You can change your appearance of everything, applications, cursors, icons, shell, sound, image background. You can change them all from here. Or to change the background, you can right click on the desktop, of course. Extensions, all the extensions you can add and remove. We've got dash dock, obviously, but there are so many different options to go through in here. You've got activities configurator, add to desktop, app folders management, applications menu, auto move windows, blur my shell, caffeine, click quit overview, clipboard indicator, Cover flow, alt tab, dash to dock, dash to panel, desktop icons, disconnect Wi-Fi, frippery, move clock, GS connect, horizontal spaces, internet radio, internet speed meter, launch new instance, minimize all, native window placement, open weather, overview of applications, places, status indicator, removable drives, I could go on and on. Remember, you do have minimize and maximize up here, but if you want to get rid of those, all you got to do is double click on it, and it'll go big, double click, and it'll go small. Fonts, you can change eat all of your fonts from this setting. Keyboard and mouse, this is where you do all your keyboard and mouse adjustments. Startup applications, top bar. Here, you've got an activities overview hot corner activated. Battery percentage is activated. You can add a weekday to your clock if you want to. Let's go ahead and do that. Date, seconds. You can add a week number to the calendar. Windows title bars, what you want to do, like I said over here, double click, toggle maximize, middle click, lower, secondary click, menu, and if you want to turn these two buttons off, all you do is click, click, and the maximize and minimize buttons are gone. Windows, attach model dialogs, edge tiling, center new windows, resize the secondary click. Window action key, you can adjust what your Windows action key does. Click to focus, focus on hover, secondary click, and then workspaces. Let's go ahead and close out of that. On the dock down here, you have Firefox, and you have your file system. Let's go into files, and as you can see, your files opens up. And if you want to, you can go about files. Just tells you that it's files 3.38.2. I do believe at present, the uh, files is at 3.40. So you can see this is a generation back, but it's rock hard and stable. Now, if you want to make your folders bigger, of course you can. It looks like they're using the Ubuntu icon set. I could be incorrect. If I am correct, incorrect, please drop down in the comments if I was wrong. Let's close out of that. You've got your text editor. You've got notes. You've got your calendar. You've got private ESR. You've got Minitube. And if you're not familiar with Minitube, you just open that puppy up. And all you got to do is do a search. Let's do a search for Linux. Hit enter, and what you'll see is it'll populate over here with a bunch of videos about Linux. What it does is it just goes to YouTube and pulls off the most popular Linux videos at present. So, I'll turn that off so we don't get hit with a copyright strike. You've got Software Center. Let's open that up. Software Center looks familiar. It looks kind of like what they're using on Ubuntu, but Debian's using it. 
we've got explore installed and updates we've got one update pending which is an OS update we won't do that what I want to check is the search function out of the box let's go up here and just put in OBS and there's OBS studio so this is one that does work out of the box that's nice Caden live and there is Caden live so all you got to do is type your search up there for your software that you want to use and you're good to go and I do believe we are just using the Debian repositories you're not going to have any snaps or flat packs on here let's close out of that now let's open up our applications you've got accessories games graphics internet office sound and video and system tools they have them all in pre-specified folders so they're not just four pages of apps to look through and then your accessories your typicals your show desktop weather Debian reference USB stick formatter fonts books firmware files backup to do clocks you got your standard ones in there you got your games and you got graphics you got your image viewer your image magic you get GIMP out of the box you get LibreOffice draw out of the box and your shop well image viewer you also have internet which would give you your Thunderbird your pigeon internet your Cawbird your private ESR Firefox and transmission then you have office which is your LibreOffice suite plus you get calendar and contacts sound and video you get music PIDV simple screen recorder videos cheese sound recorder rhythm box and mini tube which is already on the dock and your system tools logs tweaks we just went in and looked at grub customizer firewall configurer input method install Debian system monitor let's see what we're doing right now system wise resources I've got two whopping CPUs assigned to this machine at present we're using about 10% at rest when I was resizing windows it popped up to about 30 or 40 but like I said I've only got two CPUs assigned to this machine because I want to see how it does on lower spec equipment memory we're using 1.3 gigabytes of the 3.8 I have assigned to it which isn't too bad and then of course your network status down here so let's go ahead and close out of that let's open our applications back up go back into system tools you've got terminal you've got box voyager disk usage analyzer bleach bit decomp editor advanced network software and update synaptic package manager which is a place you can go if you know the name of the package and you can't find it in the app or software store you just type it up there and you're good to go so there's synaptic let's close that out let's open that back up system tools and then you got settings and then your Debian package manager right out of the box this looks like a really solid distribution but it is Debian that's what you expect from Debian Debian is always further behind on updates but it's a stable environment everything's been tested to the max and everything should run smooth and clean if you're coming from Windows or Mac and you want your first step into Linux to be something like a, a Debian or an Ubuntu I would recommend Debian 11 I would actually recommend Voyager Debian 11 because it's a really a beautiful version of Debian gives you just a little bit of flash not too much but it makes Debian look really good that was my look at Voyager Debian 11 very impressive very solid very stable I would definitely recommend it don't forget to like and subscribe my video what do you got to lose it doesn't cost anything and if you end up not liking me you can always unsubscribe and those of you that do subscribe and like you will be entered into the Asus Zenbook 14 giveaway that we are doing August 31st 2021 thank you for watching the video and I will see you in the next video